Okay, so hello everyone once again. Uh, welcome to our financial solutions today. And we recently we just uh, discussed to you module one. Okay, so every 9 p.m. you can watch and listen to our financial literacy training in our Facebook page, in our Facebook group. So we will send you the link. Okay. So we we just discuss module one. So in the next in these three days in these three days training every nine p.m. we are discussing our module one, two, and three. Okay. So right now we are going to discuss module two, and of course again before we start, let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this opportunity of learning. Thank you, God, that you will. You are helping us with wisdom and knowledge on how to rearrange our finances. Continue to give us more wisdom, O God, and knowledge so that, Lord, we can build our wealth the right way. Thank you so much, Lord. Uh, you know the needs of every person who will listen to the seminar. Touch their life, O God. Touch their finances. Let breakthrough flow in their life. We give you back all the glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. So what is again? So that's my profile, no. So, so again, we are telling everyone that we are relaunching our financial literacy caravan worldwide. Okay, so especially in reaching out with the OFW, so expect us in the coming months that we are going elsewhere nationwide and even in different countries, reaching out with the Filipino communities abroad. Okay. So this is three modules. So tapos na tayong i-discuss yung module 1. So if if you have just watched kung kayo po ay bagong nanonood ngayon ng ating module 2, please make sure that you will visit our video, recorded video in our module 1. That because that's a very foundational thing, building is a financial blueprint, building a solid financial foundation. So it also solves Two problems there. One is the uh, make money and the other one is save money. Right now, we are going to discuss module two, building passive income. That is our key to financial success. Then the next one is module three. That's our financial goal. So again, you are going to receive a certificate of completion once you have a rings a 3 hours seminar. So kailangan po natin ng 3 hours face to face seminar. So meaning this online, so I'm not I'm not a fan of online learning, okay? But of course, this is one way to reach out more people in online. But if you are really serious enough with your finances, then kahit kami nang pumunta sa mga lugar nyo, and you just scheduled a face-to-face, three hours face-to-face seminar, probably minimum 20, maximum 35 participants. So imagine, this is a 12,000 learning investment. But we give it free. We give it free to all our members. Whether you're an LSA member or you are a Royal Maharlika Cooperative member, we will just give it to you for free. And if you are serious more, enough, no? So, iba naman kasi gusto lang matuto. But if you really go to the next level, we want to build you to become a financial coach. So, we are now in the process of building financial coach. Just complete all the requirements and you can become a CFC, Certified Financial Coach. Because I cannot do it myself. No, I need a lot of people because we have a lot of work to do no, para ma-reach out natin ng ating mga kababayan. So we, ha we have discussed to you that all our modules 1, 2, 3 is focused on our blueprint, which is building a strong financial foundation. That's the X-curve. And the very uh, direction of the X-curve or the very objective is to help you Increase your savings line. Kasi yan ang essence. As you grow older, dapat pataas ng pataas ang ating savings. And all these three modules, it will be discussed piece by piece. Himay-himayin po natin ito. No? Mga 5 to 7 minutes training. 
para mas maintindihan nyo siya piece by piece. So let's go to module 2. So we, you just learned, most of you have that watch this, uh, watching right now, have learned the solution number 1, which is, oh, the solution number 1 is MMM, make more money, SMM, G, G, uh, save more money. But MMM and SMM is useless without doing GMM. Let me repeat that. Even you make a lot of money and you save a lot of money, if you don't go to GMM, you might end up with nothing. What is grow more money? That is creating multiple streams of passive income. Okay, so there are three ways to build wealth. How are you going to build? Because some uh, you can make money to cover your essentials, to buy expenses and have something left to save and invest. Have a plan to save and use your, your, your income to invest or invest to put money to work for you. So this is num this number three is your passive income. So there are three kinds of people and how they make a port. x curve din yan. The first level is you have big effort but you have little income. Diba ganun naman? Diba? Minsan, pag nagsisimula ka pa lang, you have poured out all your effort pero liit-liit lang ng paycheck mo. But, of course, some people are building through experience. Time will come, yung effort mo equal na sa income mo. But, if you want to build passive income, you have to reach the point that your little that you have little effort pero you have big income or even to the point that you have no effort but you have big income. Would that be possible? Possible ba 'yon na wala ka namang effort pero meron kang income? Yes, that's passive income. And that's something that everybody should learn. So let's make a comparison. Active passive so, katulad ng trabaho, dahil meron kang sweldo, that's active income. Kasi uh, uh, pag trabaho, umaasa ka sa sweldo. Pag agent ka, umaasa ka sa commission. Pag lawyer ka, umaasa ka sa client mo. Pag doctor ka, sa pasyente. Pag wala ka ng pasyente, wala ka na rin kita. Kahit nagkagano ka pa kagaling na doktor. Pag, pagka ikaw ay OFW, pag wala ka ng kontrata, wala ka na rin kita. Pag artista ka, wala kang pelikula, wala kang palabas, wala kang anything, project, wala ka rin kita. Kahit manipakyaw ka pa, pag wala ng boxing match, wala na rin kita. So same thing with singer, contractor, basketball player. no So yan yung active income. Passive income... It's an interest income. So meaning you are making money from this like share capital, mutual fund, stock market, royalty income from business, maturity income, fixed savings, rental, and from buildings and apartment. Okay, so at least you got an overview what is an active and what is passive. So in, act, in, a, in active income, so ito ay... Active income, ito ay passive income. So yung active income mo, the linear growth, lin ang growth niya linear. And active income, it's temporary. You can lose it anytime and you work hard for it. But in passive income, the growth is exponential. And it's a permanent income. Yun ang gusto nating ma-attain. The only way you can deal with permanent expenses is you have to have permanent income. And of course, multiple streams of income. That's basically passive. So it's between, sa simula, everybody starts with active, then you move to passive. Kailangan lang, meron ka talagang direksyon to move from passive to active. So, they have to create passive income that will last for infinity. Now, I have a question for you and probably this is my definition of wealth. How would you know that if, if a person is wealthy or if a person is financially successful? How would you know? Pag nasagot itong tanong na to. And what's the question? If you lose your income today, how many years can you survive? 
Wow, who can answer that? If you lose your income today, how many years can you survive? Some people would even say that I would not even survive weeks or months. <laughs> Grabe, di ba? So, basically, that's how you measure passive income. Because when you lose your income, then is your money, is your savings enough Okay, for you to survive in the coming years. So let's discuss, let's uh, explain further the difference between active and passive. Napaka-importante po nito. Active income is an income from your direct labor or job. Meaning, you need to work to make money. Yan yung pinaliwanag ko kanina. Pag may trabaho, kapag wala ka ng trabaho, wala ka ng sweldo. Pag wala kang benta, wala kang komisyon. Pag wala kang kliyente, wala kang professional fee. Very scary if you just depend on active income. Kaya nga marami kayong kilala, di ba? Marami kayong kilala, masikat na artista, bakit sa dulo naghirap? Because they depend on active income. They forgot that active income is temporary. Itong pinaka-scary part. Temporary, it cannot make you wealthy. Yes, you maman ka, but it, you cannot sustain it until the end of your life. No? Kaya kahit na gaano pa kalaki ang kita mo, no? kailangan po natin maintindihan, as long as it's active, it's temporary, and you can lose it anytime. Okay? That's why, now, in an active income, you need to build source of streams, multiple streams para lumaki yung income natin. Like, if this is your source of income, you have a full-time job, you have business, part-time job, and you need to create more. If you go to uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 11 and 2, you need to create 7 to 8 at least multi uh, source of income. And this multiple source of income either is an act income that later on can become passive income. Now, if you are making money that is not that has not a direction of becoming making it passive, then you are not in the right direction. Okay, you will end up broke and you will end up poor. Okay, so that's active. What's passive income? Ito masaya. Passive income is an income that keeps coming even if you are not working. Wow, who, sino may gusto niyan? Kumikita ka kahit di ka nagtatrabaho. Even if you are sleeping. How, how, is, how, is, how is that possible? Because it's the money working for you. Probably you are getting interest from your investment like share capital, mutual funds, stock market, or you get a maturity income from your fixed savings plan, royalty income from business outlet, rentals income from buildings and apartments. Okay, so yan yung ating passive income. So kailangan lang natin maintindihan is where, where is my money right now? Where is my income flowing? Is it active? Is it passive? If it is active, does it have the opportunity to become passive later on? So the question is, do we have enough time? You can make good money or because of your degree, position, title, talent, skill. But it's all worthless if you fail to build passive income. Passive income determines your financial success or failure. If you want to know whether you're going to become financially successful or not, then make a computation how much passive income do you have. Okay, Proverbs 13.22, I call this the passive income verse. A good man. What's the opposite of good? <laughs> Ibig sabihin, pag di mo ito nagawa, your, you can evaluate who, what is your uh, category here, whether you are good or bad. A good man lives an inheritance to his children's children. Mabigat ito, no? 
The question is, if something happened to you today, meron ka bang inheritance sa iyong anak? Hindi lang sa anak to eh, children, children, pati sa apo. So kung wala kang pamana, so what are you? Good or bad? So Bible po ang nagsabi niya, hindi po ako. No? So meaning, this is a clear indicator or a measurement if you have built a passive income. Kasi kung may inheritance, no? Ngayon, alamin natin, what are the sources of passive income? Personally, in my 20 years as a financial planner, I just found out that there are three, there are only three sources of passive income. So, ibig sabihin, dito ka mag-focus. Dito ka mag-focus para makabuild ka ng passive income. Number one, interest income. Siyempre, pag nag-ipon ka, Kung nag-ipon ka, nilagay mo lang kasi yung iba natatakot sa scam, natatakot sa risk. Okay, baka malugi yung negosyo. Eh, ganun talaga. You know, everything about passive income is very risky. no? But the problem is, kung ilalagay yung ibabaw mo sa lupa ang pera mo o itatago mo sa bahay mo, hindi rin siya guaranteed na walang risk. Kasi, una... Pag, sa, pag dinago mo yan sa bahay, baka manakaw, ibaon mo sa lupa, baka mawala rin. Or sabihin na natin di siya nawala, remember, kung 0% yan, kakainin niyang pera mo ng inflation. So, please accept the fact that whatever happens in your, whatever happens in building passive income, risk is always involved. There's no guaranteed in building wealth. No, You have to really be risk taker. But if you put your money, like for example, 50, nagsasave ka ng 50,000 a year. Kaya kung 0% yan, it may take 100 years to be, build 5 million. Ay grabe, nabuhay ka pa ba ng 100 years? And usually, nagsisimula ka mag-save mga age 20. Pero kung kahit ilagay mo lang siya sa 10%, <clears throat> yung 50,000 years mo, it will only take 25 years to build 5,000. Since kumikita siya ng 10%, yung 5,000 mo, yung 5 million mo, kumikita ng 500,000 a year. Now, ang ganito gawin natin, no? Okay, linawan natin. Kumikita ka ng 500,000 a year. Let's say you are in your retirement years, you are 65. Kasi hindi mo kinukuha yung 5 million mo, kinukuha mo lang yung 500,000 para lang masustain mo yung expenses mo. Ang tanong, nagtatrabaho ka ba para kitain yung 500,000? Hindi. Sino nagtatrabaho? Yung pera. Passive, active. Passive. So, kung kukunin mo lang interest, kahit umabot ka pa ng 75, 80, hindi na babawasan yung 5 million mo. And by the time, by the time na it's uh, na kunin ka ng Lord, kanina mapupunta yung 5 million? Sa anak, sa apo. Ayun na yung Proverbs 13.22. A good man lives an inheritance. Ang tawag natin dito sa passive income na to is living on interest. L-O-I. Si Loy. Okay, si Loy po yan. <laughs> living on interest, no? Kaya eto dito sa tatlong passive income na to may tatlo kayo mamimit. Una si Loy. Pangalawa, rentals income. Assuming during your active income years ay nakapagpatayo ka ng apartment or nakabili ka ng isang kondo worth 2 million, pinarentahan mo ng 12,000 a month, time is 12, 144,000 a year, may apat na unit ka, kumita ka ng 576 per year. Tanong, Nag, meron kang kinikita ng 576,000 per year. Nagtatrabaho ka ba para kumita? Hindi, kumokolekta ka lang. It's the money working for you. Passive, active. So, ito na yung illustration ko. Now, even, you are earning even if you're sleeping. Eh, ba ngayon, digital na, no? Ang gagawin mo na lang is, sasabihin mo sa mga tenants mo is, i-deposit nyo na lang po yung payment nyo during due time. O due date. Ikaw naman, syempre, pag may nag-deposit sa bank account mo, pwede ka mag-create ng, ng uh, ang tawag doon, ng notification tone or notification sound 
At pag narinig mo sa cellphone mo yon, ting! Alam mo, may pumasok na pera. So, even natutulog ka, then you know you're making money. So, ito naman ay living on rentals income. So, this is lore. Living on rental. So, nakita nyo, meron ka na si Loy, si Lore. <laughs> Then, the last one is royalty income. This building business. But building business through building outlets. Kaya kahit, halimbawa, kahit nga fishball lang yan, ano, fishball yung binibenta mo, tapos kumikita yung fishball mo ng 5,000 piso a month, Maliit lang, ano? Pero ang problema, meron ka palang 100 outlets. So that's 500,000 a month. So when you build people, you can make royalty income. That's why you see in LSA, royalty income is part of our uh, income. Let's say, bigyan ko kayo ng illustration. You build people, you build outlets, and every outlet makes 200,000 sales per month. Then bibigyan kita ng royalty income na 7%. How much money you make? 14,000 a month. 168,000 per year. Let's say you have 10 outlet. Then you make 1,680,000 per year. Tanong ko, ikaw, nagtatrabaho ka ba para kitain yung 1.6 million? Hindi. It's the money working for you. Passive, active. Tawag natin dito is living on royalty income. Si Lori. So you meet three people. Loy, Lor, And Lori. Okay. Loy, Lor, and Lori. So you want to become financially successful? Gusto mo ba makabuild ng passive income? Then follow this. Make sure you have Loy, Lor, and Lori. If you have these three, I promise you, you can build unlimited passive income. That's how... businesses no makes money yung mga umaman like nakita niyo Starbucks no Starbucks has 14,000 outlets McDonald's has 31,000 outlets Jollibee has 850 outlets yung 5% ng gross income kinikita yan ng Starbucks McDonald's Jollibee and they call it royalty income alam niyo ba McDonald's is earning i think around the uh, 10 million okay 10 million pesos or 10 million dollar 10 million dollar per month on royalty income only because McDonald's has around uh 15,000 or 30,000 or 31,000 outlet 142 countries okay so that's passive income So, building wealth is all about stewardship. Stewardship means you make money work for you. Every peso you earn must be saved and every peso saved must grow and multiply. So, that's the principle of the parable of the talents. No? Bin less ka ni Lord, God expects you to make it grow and multiply. Okay? Question is, how do you build passive income? No, where does your investment? What? How do you? Kung tatanong ng ka, saan mo ba ilalagay ang pera mo? Saan mo i-invest yan? Di ba? Eh, the problem is, yam pa may risk, no? Ganon talaga, di ba? So first and foremost, determine your investment goal. Kailan mo ba kailangan yung pera? Bag yung pera ay kakailangan ni mo na. between 1 to 11 one day to 11 months then hindi yan savings it has to be liquid so pwedeng yan na lang laman ng banko mo no kasi kakailanganin mo na siya agad eh pero kung ang pera mo gagamitin mo between 1 to 5 years pa pwedeng mo yan ilagay sa time deposit direct investment share capital kung more than 5 years share capital real estate livestock businesses Okay? Kasi syempre, alam naman natin, the longer the longer the term in investment, the higher the interest. Because rate of return is demand, dependent on the amount of risk you assume. Eh, dito takot na takot ang mga tao. That's why, let me tell you, no, you can never build passive income if you are not a risk taker. Yes. 
Because the shorter the investment term, let's accept the pack, the lower the return. The longer the investment term, the higher the return. You need to give up liquidity to get higher return. Liquid and high return is not possible. That's why most people put their money in the bank, and we are not against bank. It's just for a simple reason because they said that their money is safe. But safe, uh, when you when you talk about safe uh, safety in your money, that's not passive income. Because passive income, you always have to take some risk. But of course, there is somehow what we call calculated risk. Okay? So, napag-aaralan din naman yan. Let's change our mindset. We are not against bank, but bank is not investing. We have to look for long-term instruments so we can build passive income. Matthew 25, 29, the parable of the talents, to those who use well what they are given, even more will be given. Okay? Katulad halimbawa, nung binigyan ng five talents, pagbalik niya, it doubles, naging 10 talents. Yung binigyan ng 2 talents, after a year, it doubles, naging 4 talents. Pero yung binigyan ng 1 talent, natakot siya. Ibinaon niya sa lupa. Kasi natakot siya, baka daw malugi. <laughs> diba? And that's what most people, that's why a lot of people are not really making it, okay, building their passive income. And matindi pong education to, no? kasi sa Pilipinas, probably only 1% has enough savings. Okay? Napakababa ng percentage. So it's not enough that you work hard to earn money. You make money work harder than you. And the and the, prob the most important, probably the most important principle, and probably one day we will discuss this separately, and we call it the rule of money. It's a very important concept in understanding the power of compounding interest, the rule of 72. The rule of 72 says 72 divided by any interest rate, that is the number of years your money doubles. Like if you put your money at 1%, 72 divided by 1, it will take 72 years for your money to double. Like, sino ba nagbibigay ng 1%? Probably banks. Ngayon nga, hindi na umaabot sa 1% ang savings account. If you put your money at 4%, 70 divided by 4, it becomes 18 years. So, umiikli. It 8%, 9 years, 12%, 6 years. The rule of 72 will help you really compute your uh, money. It was authored by Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein call, called the compounding interest the eight wonders of the world, the ma mankind greatest invention. It's the mightiest force ever unleashed for amassing wealth. So it's a question of where do you put your money? Let's see. Tignan natin, ano, pare pare yung edad, 29. Pare pare yung amount, 100,000. Iba-iba lang ang interest. And let's see what is the return. You put your money at 4%, 100,000. Pagdating mo na age 65, it become 400. You put more money at 8%, 100,000 sa 29. Pagdating mo na 65, 1.6. 12%, your 100,000, it become 6.4. You see, if you put your money at 4 rather than 12, anong difference ng 6.4 sa 400? It's 6 million. Nakaninong kamay ang 6 million. You see, uh, Money has only two directions. Either you win or you lose. The problem is every time you are losing, somebody is winning. Every gain in money goes to some people's hand. Hindi yan lumilipad sa ere. Lahat ng talo mo, somebody gains it. So, kung halimbawa, because sometimes sa bank, no, the bank gives you lower interest rate, pero pag nangutang ka, they give you higher interest rate. So sa kanila napupunta yan. So it's always a question of how are you going to put your money to the winning side? So you can never build passive income if your money is in the losing side. So if your money will not earn 
The question is, is there a facility that will make my money earn 12%? Yes. And supposedly, everybody earns it. Do you, do you think bank does not earn more than 12%? Their credit card is 36% per annum. Their housing loan is probably around 18% per annum. Their car loan is 18% per annum. So there's a lot. There's a lot of facilities, legitimate facilities. Now, wag ka na masyado maghahangad ng sobrang laki ng interest rate. Kasi sa 12% pa lang, you can build millions already. Hanap tayo ng talagang sigurado. Okay. So the rule of 72, you can determine what kind of savings plan works best for you and your budget. So very easy. Ano? Very easy po itong rule of 72. But very powerful na dapat maintindihan ng bawat isa. Like this table, your money works here at 12% per annum. Kaya kahit 1,000 lang yan, who would ever think that your 1,000 pesos can become 5.5 million in your lifetime? Okay, so that's how business, to be honest, business can really double your money easily. May 10,000 ka, baka nga after a month, your 10,000 becomes 20,000. Imagine 100% interest yun. So we have to find a way to where, our, where will our money grows faster. But again, let me just remind everyone, the higher the interest, the higher the risk. So meaning, if you know that, that building wealth is taking a lot of risk, then you have to make a decision whether you are going to be in the direction of building passive income or you will just put your money on, kumbaga sa mas safe, no? safe na lang natin siya ilagay. No? Okay, ayan. Okay, are you learning? Yeah, sandali ah, napunta dito sa side na to yung aking Okay, next is So how will I put my cursor back here? Sandali lang pa Ililib ko muna ta Ayun. Okay, so next here is, so these are Joseph example of investment. No? So Joseph is a perfect example of building passive income. So now, there are five, no? Joseph. Okay. So Joseph invested in commodities. Isa-isa na natin dito. In Genesis 41, 46, 49, controlling the market. So dito nagsimula yung project natin sa LSA. Why we manufacture product. No? So because you, that's the only way you control the market. We call it the value chain methodology. Then next is Joseph invested in livestock. That's bakit. Kasi yung livestock is an income producing asset. No? Dahil nanganganak siya. Kaya may kita niya, meron din time feasibility about livestock. Joseph brought all the land. So Joseph invested in real estate. That's the reason behind we also have uh, yung mga plantation and eco farm. So those are income passive, uh, passive income source of the uh, so, uh, source of things, no? So Joseph Joseph focused on business by yung kanyang produce. That's they by selling grain to the people. He controls the distribution. So basically, it's a value chain thing, no? Itong ating uh, pinag-aaralan. So who's afraid of investment? Maybe everybody. But let us just educate everyone. No risk, no reward. Anybody who plays safe will never become wealthy. Or let's put it this way. Anybody who plays safe will never build passive income. Ecclesiastes 11, 1 and 2. These are the uncertainties of life. Now send your grain across the sea and in time profits will flow back to you. But divide your investment among many places for you do not know what risk lies ahead. May risk po talaga. In New Century Version, 
boldly pay your future. Invest what you have because after a while you will get a return. Invest what you have and this is calculated risk in several different businesses because you don't know what disaster might light ahead. So wala pong nag well, unless it's a scam but it's a, it's a legitimate business walang gusto na matalo ang negosyo. Okay, o magka problema. Everybody we really want to become successful. But let's accept the fact na ganun po talaga ang business. Business can really fail. Okay. Okay, so we are finished with module 2. Did you learn something? Again, if you have question, you can message us in our Facebook page. In you we can also watch us in YouTube. You can email us in financial solutions day 2020 at gmail.com. So please make sure you can uh, you can you will watch this repeatedly until it really goes to your heart because this is your life, this very life changing. And please don't forget to share it to anybody that you know. So thank you so much. God bless everyone.